Hi, welcome to my pad. Hey, see what I did there? Lily pad, see? All right there, I saved loads of junk either, all sorts of things. I've got offcuts of pipe, slabs, all sorts. So that's a good time, it seems to me, to start um, making something. I'll get rid of some of this rubbish somehow, haven't I? Hey? There we go, what am I going to do with these? I've got all these big, big slabs here. Well, you see, I've got this... Uh, Got some off cuts of pipe here. I've just been marking round with that, going round with a pencil, marking the circle. Let's see what we can do. because I've got a naturally lined pond, this clay, I can um, use these offcuts of pipe, drive them in, drive them into the clay base. Obviously, once they're driven in, they'll become waterproof inside. I could pump them out um, to get the water out and then fill them up. I could fill them with concrete or soil or whatever. Just give me a minute, eh? I'm going to get on, I'm going to hit it in, drive it into the clay as I can, um, tapping it down with a with rubber mallet, and then, um, well, we'll take it from there. Of course, in reality, it's not that easy, is it? Oh, hang on. Right, fine. Here we go. There we are. Am I? Where am I? All right, fine. Of course, in reality, it's not that easy, is it? Because I'm hitting stones, because that's what's in this clay, but um, therefore I'll spare you the details and uh, show you if I eventually get there. Okay, so um, I've got this old leaky water button. I'm going to use that as another sort of um, support. Um, I've run out of uh, pipe work, but I want I want at least a sort of 500 bearing for um, for the slabs. So okay, so it's not quite that big across there. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. About if I cut it down about here, it will support. That will be a good support, and then I can measure the depth of the water that I want it out and cut it off again. Place that in. Fill it with. Um, I'm gonna fill it with stones because that's what I've got here compact it in push it into the um into the mud on the base and uh we've got another couple there Okay, on one of the pipes, I'm using this um, ribbed pipe, you know, twin wall. Uh, unfortunately, of course, they're all full of um, air, so it's buoyant. So I'm just cutting some slits in it so it doesn't float up. And then I'll be able, 
I'll probably just trim off the bottom couple of layers so I can drive it into the mud as well in the bottom. If I really wanted to go to town I'd probably um, wrap some old carpet or some material around because that would give um, a chance of moss. You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see the um, plastic pipe through the water and uh, algae and moss would probably glow on the cloth but I'm not going to that level yet. Well here we are completed. Not a bad way to use old slabs and uh, bits of pipe. Gives us good access to see what's going on inside the pond. If you can see the newts there wiggling about. No, they're hiding aren't they? They stay very still when you're looking. Of course if you had a lined pond you'd have to do with it a different way but it's still feasible. There you go. Oh, this tractor, that's an overlooking platform. That's for another day though. Thanks for watching. See you again.